morning. It's 841 and welcome back on this Thursday morning. Let's face it. We all make makeup mistakes, some bigger than others. So how can we fix those beauty blunders? Beauty expert Christina Morali from beautyqueenblog.com is here with more. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. And your makeup looks beautiful. So oh, I, I know that we should listen to what you say. What are some of the most common mistakes we make? One of the most common beauty blunders is forgetting to prime your face and your eye area. Uh -huh. Now with that, We've all been in the snare before where we've applied makeup and then with an hour or two it's just completely eaten up and no right. longer visible, right? So the trick is to apply a primer. I have two here by Too Faced Cosmetics. The first is Hangover RX. Now we love this primer because it not only creates a flawless canvas, it actually infuses coconut water and probiotics so it softens, it hydrates, and it brightens the skin too. This is $32 at Sephora. The next one is shadow insurance. Now this is for the eye area. Get, okay. Get this, it's 24 hours of wear. So it's lightweight and it works perfectly for cream eyeshadow or a powder eyeshadow too. So do you need one for the face and one for the eyes? Yes. Okay. Yes, completely two different areas, separate the two always. Got it. And then uh, this is one of our next, I'm trying to see what these say up here. Toner. Oh, yeah, I, I really like Lush. I love Lush too. Yeah. Now here's a fun fact for you. Mm -hmm. Did you know that you shouldn't wash your face in the morning? I didn't know that. So the most essential thing you could do, especially with the winter months coming up, is to avoid washing your face and opt for a primer, or excuse me, a toner instead. The reason for this is you strip your essential oils in the morning, which is no good. If you want a more balanced skin tone and complexion, opt for a toner. This one here by Lush is Eau de Roma. It is $21.95 at LushCosmetics.com or Lush Locally. And what I love about this is it combines rose oil and lavender oil to hydrate and soothe. This will pH balance your skin and prep it for makeup and skincare. It just will help kind of nourish without having to strip those oils. So you get up, you do the toner. Yes. And, and then wash your face more thoroughly at night to get the makeup exactly. off. Exactly. Okay. Yes, exactly. All right. Concealer can be so difficult. Because it, if it's not the right color, if it looks too cakey or you can get raccoon eyes, I mean... It's a litany of issues. Exactly. And the number two, the number one issue with concealer is that the product can be the issue, choosing mm. the right product. And then the second issue is all in the technique. So what I have here is Prescriptive's Camouflage Concealer. This is incredible. It is $21 at prescriptives.com. And what I love about this is it's lightweight but blendable. That is the key in shopping for a great concealer. So you can add upon it with the coverage or you can just use a light amount if it's not needed. The second is the technique. I like, instead of just applying right under the eye area, try extending that down to the nose and upwards towards the outer edge of the eye and then filling in from there. Oh. What that does is create the illusion of a lifted, more awake eye. I like that. Yes. I need awake. <laughs> That's what I need. We all do. This is my favorite one. Mm -hmm. What do we do with the coffee? So we all suffer from a dry, itchy scalp, especially mm -hmm. in the winter months. And a great way to combat that is by actually exfoliating your scalp. And to do so, you can take about a half a cup of coffee, apply it onto a wet scalp, and for just for about a minute or two, you can massage it in. Rinse, shampoo and condition as usual, and you're good to go. It'll get all of those dead, dry skin cells off and relieve the itch. I would have never thought of that. Does your hair smell like coffee or does it smell good? It smells like coffee, which yeah. honestly, which is a smell, good smell. Yes, it's for a most great people. smell for most yeah. people. Yeah, I love it. Well, that was Christina. That's really helpful. Um, I, I love the tips, especially some of the things that we can do here in Colorado when our skin gets dry, which it actually here is year round. So Absolutely. Jen, thank you for coming in for us thank today. Thank you. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. If you use the coffee, does it stain lighter hair? Now, blonde. Very, very blonde hair, beware. You can use a lighter roast or opt for a granular sugar instead. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> sugar hair. Oh, you're going to be so sweet. <laughs> I am. You're going to smell like coffee and I'm going to smell like sugar. All right. Take you outside, guys.